We head to Spain now to meet four-time world champion Kenny Belay and find out why mountain bike trials is the ultimate test of balance and handling skills. Trials is very specific. It's against all laws of physics almost. Precision is the main key of trials. You always look where to put your front wheel, where is your back wheel. I'm not talking about centimeters, I'm talking about millimeters. You gotta be perfectly in the middle of a rock to have a good takeoff to go to the next one. The significance of one millimeter is the difference between first and second place. At the end of the competition and the, your back wheel is one millimeter to the right and you take off and your back wheel slips, put your foot down, that's the second place. Balance in trials is the most important thing. You can't do any movement without having full control. No obstacle is the same. Everything has to be approached differently. There's no excuses. There's only you and the bike. The rules are very simple. You get over the obstacle. Every time you put your foot down, you make a penalty point. And at the end of the day, the rider with the fewest penalty points is the winner. Before I check out an obstacle or a rocks, first of all, you have to envision yourself doing it. If you can't imagine yourself doing it, there's a very little chance you will ever make it. Before a jump from rock to rock, the main thing is to have a plyometric movement, like a spring. The more you can compress it, the further it will jump. You always have one foot forward. In my case, that's the right foot, and that's actually my more explosive foot. The left foot is more the pillar which my whole body is actually leaning on. So before I take off, I compress, so the whole body actually goes down towards my back wheel. You just bring your arms as much forward as you can. And then as soon as I like take off, I compress the tire actually completely to the ground. And also the feet, you pull them as high up as you can. I like to have smooth landing, so when I land, I always try to compress my body as low as possible, so I limit the impact on my back and on my knees. Everything about the bike is very special and very custom to what a trials rider needs. First of all, the weirdest thing ever is it has no seat because 10 years ago we decided that we never sit down. So why would we need a seat? And it's only in the way it's touching your legs. It's extra weight, it weighs around 500 gram. So we removed seat post and seat. The bottom bracket and the pedals are very high up. So we optimize the clearance with obstacles. So we have less touching the obstacles. And it also feels much more comfortable when you're on the back wheel, which we do a lot in trials. Then the pedals are very sharp, like to, to have optimal grip. The rims, they're drilled out because they're so wide. We have so much material, so we drill the rims out to save weight. Makes it around 200 grams lighter again. But most people think that the tires are super hard, but actually they're not. We use around 1.6 bar in the rear and 1.4 in the front. Hard enough not to puncture and still like soft enough to give you a good bounce to jump high enough and uh, to have more grip on the rocks. It's a very difficult sport because the competition lasts very long, but still it's a very explosive sport. So you have to train, it's a thin line between being explosive enough and also to keep the endurance going. I'm training between two and a half and four and a half hours every day. To be successful, I think, in anything, not just in trials, each sleep, train, repeat is what you have to do. The most important competitions coming up now is the World Championships in Andorra. That's what I'm going to train hard for now in the next two months. <laughs>